E-bikes come under the same rules as regular cycles and as such a helmet is not required by law and you don't need to take training and to pass a test like on a motorbike. However, in both cases you are well advised to consider these, especially if you haven't ridden a bike for some time. This short film considers what training is available and how you can access it. I'm here speaking to Louise from Cycle Confident. Once you've mastered the controls of an e-bike, it's not that different to a normal cycle. So why would you recommend returning cyclists to take training before using an e-bike? Thanks Nick. For many people who are returning to cycling, it's been a while since they learned to ride and the advice has changed considerably since the day, for example, when I learned to ride some 35 years ago. Whatever your experience, you may find that going out with an instructor will help you with handling the bike, getting used to the electrics assist, the weight and speed of the bike, and also to help you with, for example, route planning. Cycle Confident carry out e-bike training. What does this involve? Our training is based on the national standard for cycle training, which was revised and released in October 2018. Our training starts with preparing ourselves and the bike for a journey. We then move into an off-road setting, such as a park, where we cover riding with control of the bike. This will include using the electric motor to help assist with steady pedalling. We then move on to local roads, where we will cover riding according to the highway code and riding to the national standard. We will then move on to more complex road situations which involves riding in bus lanes, multi-lane multi roads um, and perhaps fast moving traffic. This is a fairly complex road here um, and we can see Ed is riding in the primary position. The primary position is the centre of the lane. He's doing that because there isn't space for the driver behind to overtake him without leaving the lane. So by holding the primary position, looking back, he's encouraging the driver to overtake only when there's time and space to do so. If the lane was wider and there was space to be overtaken without leaving the lane, we choose to ride in the secondary position, which is about a metre from the kerb. Where can people access training? first place to start to look for training is your local authority. If you have a look at your local council website on their cycling pages, many local authorities offer cycle training for free. Make sure that you let them know when you contact them that you want training on an e-bike. If you don't find any training through your local authority, then get in touch with the Bikeability Trust, who keep a record of all cycle instructors in England and Wales. If you are new to cycling or returning to cycling, training will help you to stay safe and it's a great idea irrespective of the roads or journeys you're planning.